Hey, what's up everyone? Monado Max here, and today we have a potential video series. It's all going to depend on how you guys feel about videos like this, but I've had a lot of gaming pickups recently from the limited run retail event, not to mention a lot of my uh, things that I've had pre-ordered has finally come in the mail through limited run. There's also been a lot of game releases recently, and I thought what would be really cool is if we just did a video showing everything I bought. That way I could have people tell me in the comments Max, you bought way too many video games. So, we might be doing this monthly. It's gonna be a one-time video for now. I hope we can make it a monthly series. It's all depending on if you guys like it or not. So let's like the video if you guys wanna see more of this, because I'm interested. This is a series that I would like to do, similar to when I did the video games I played series, which nobody watched those, so I stopped that. So let's see how you guys feel about this series. So speaking of limited run, I mentioned that there's a lot of stuff that I pre-ordered from them that has finally shipped here. One of those being the Super Meat Boy Forever game. Uh, this is a game series that I want to get into and I know the Forever is the sequel. I have played a little bit of the first Super Meat Boy game. I thought it was incredibly unique and I was very interested in playing more of it. So now, I actually got the Super Meat Boy the first game, and I really, I don't understand what the concept of this cover was, because I don't think anything like this is in the actual game, and because of that, I, I don't want people to see this cover in my room. I don't want them to just come in my room, look at my games, be like, oh wow, what's Super Meat Boy, and then you see this guy on there. So. Uh, with limited run games, they have a Best Buy variant edition most of the time, and what the Best Buy variant is, is, well, obviously if you go to Best Buy, it's going to have a different cover art than the limited run website. And with Best Buy, there was a different cover, and limited run sells on their website the covers where it'll come with the case and the cover of the game. So they, they were selling the Best Buy variant on their website, so I definitely went ahead and bought that because it's actually the original cover. This is actually the original cover of Super Meat Boy. I don't know who in the right idea over there decided to go with this because with the sequel, the art styles, these match up. These make sense. This makes sense as a duo right here. If I was to be like, this right here is actually the sequel to this. Would you believe me? We got Quake here. Never played Quake before, so I'm really excited to have a physical copy of this on the Nintendo Switch. We have Celeste here. Uh, this is, again, the limited run Best Buy variant. Uh, it's just the case and cover. I already have the game. So this is one that just came out on Friday the 13th. Uh, I am a big Evil Dead fan. I am a huge Evil Dead fan. I actually have a Ash vs. Evil Dead poster that's signed by a lot of the cast members of that show. I don't have it hung up in this room. It was hung up in my last house. Uh, so when the Evil Dead game got announced, I was really excited. I went ahead and picked up both <laughs> copies of the game. So I bought it on my Xbox, bought it on PlayStation 5. You guys are going to be asking me why did I do that. So hear me out. Uh, I go to a lot of conventions, at least I used to before COVID happened. And a lot of those conventions, Bruce Campbell, the person that plays Ash, is a guest at a lot of these conventions that I went to. And I want to get one of these games signed eventually by him. And I like the PS5 cover better than the Xbox cover. So I went ahead and bought both. And I also, uh, my Xbox is in a whole other room and my PlayStation 5 is in here. So I'll be able to switch between the two because they also have cross progression in the game. Which by the way, I am enjoying the Evil Dead game. My only disappointments are <laughs> I have no friends that play it, so I'm definitely not having as much fun as I should be because it's fully an online game. So I'm playing with no one, basically. I mean, I'm playing with strangers. It's just, it's not the same funness, if that makes sense, but it, it's still a fun game. I enjoy it a lot. I just wish there was some single player stuff in there. Uh, these are the limited run retail exclusive copies that uh, they had at the event that you could only buy at the limited run event. I think the Shantae stuff they're bringing to the conventions, but from my understanding, this Scott Pilgrim edition, uh, this like cool complete edition box right here, this is only going to be available at the limited run retail store. So if that's something that you guys are interested in, it's only at the limited run retail store. It's basically just the game and a cool box. That's, it's nothing interesting. It's a different cover art too. 
Panzer Dragon. Haven't had a chance to play this game yet, but that's another Switch release that I really wanted to play that I don't own yet, now I do. So we got some 3DS and Wii U stuff coming up. This is from my uh, Video Games Monthly video, which we had some success and a lot of failure in there, but we got Dream Trigger 3D. I really didn't think I would be showing this game in another video of mine. If you're wondering what that game is, I still don't really know. We got the Sushi Striker game for the 3DS. I was also kind of disappointed. It's sealed. I don't know how we ended up with a lot of these being sealed. Lego Chima. Uh, yeah, we got it. It's not the greatest video I've done in terms of... The, I mean, it was a fun video, but we didn't get a lot of good stuff. Oh, but this was some pretty good stuff. We got some Wii U titles, stuff I don't have yet. Zombie U. Really cool to have that in my collection because I talked about wanting that on the Switch. And then we have a sealed copy of Ninja Gaiden for the Wii U. Now, I'm going to actually keep this sealed because I already have this game on the Switch. Uh, so I have no reason to play it on the Wii U. But it's still cool to have it in my Wii U collection because I want to have a complete published Nintendo set. I don't want to go for every Wii U game. I want to get every published Wii U game by Nintendo. That's what I'm doing with the Switch. So, one day when I'm rich, it's gonna happen. I'm gonna have a complete Wii U and Switch Nintendo published set. Oh man, this one really hurts to show off. We got Nintendo Switch Sports, which if you didn't see that video, I accidentally destroyed the box. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but I split the box pretty bad. Oh, that's not even, this is where it was, but I split the box pretty bad. Not my proudest moment. Um, go watch that video of the vlog of me picking up the game. Got some PlayStation right here. So we got the Samurai Jack game for the PlayStation 4. Now, this is... I have four different copies of this game. I own it on the Switch three times and once on the PlayStation 4. So, I only have it on the PlayStation 4 because I bought the whole big collector's edition at the limited run retail event. I'm not going to show that off in this video. I don't care if you're mad that I'm not showing that. I, I just don't feel like grabbing that thing because I have the statue already out. It looks pretty sick. You guys aren't going to be able to see it, though, because I'm not grabbing it. I don't care. I know you guys are going to be in the comments like, well, please, Max, please show it. I'm not doing it. I don't care. Too much work. Too much work. We got the Jack X game for the PlayStation 4. Uh, this was one that I got a lot of people jealous in the limited run video because I was able to pick up every Jack game, Jack 3, Jack 2, Jack 1, <laughs> everyone got mad that I was able to get all of them. Not mad, but jealous. I'm happy to have those though. Those are one of the limited run games that I really wish I had when I found out it existed. Alright, more limited run. Which, uh, again, a lot of this is the stuff that we just bought at the event, but it's cool to show this off in a video. Uh, something else that I've really been getting into recently is Pokemon cards. Uh, I don't think you guys care about me showing that, but here's some of the jumbo cards I've got. I've been buying those sets like crazy. It's, it's not good. It's not good how much money I'm spending in Pokemon cards. It's an addiction. Don't buy Pokemon cards. Speaking, or this has nothing to speak with the Pokemon cards. We've got Outlast 2 for the Nintendo Switch here. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to have that in my collection. I just need to get the first Outlast game on the Nintendo Switch. Hopefully at too many games next month, I will finally be able to get either Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Torna for the Switch, or Outlast 1 for the Switch, or if, you know, maybe I'll get Devil's Third for a good price next month at... Uh, too many games. Those are the things I'll be looking for. We've got the Escapist. Uh, all, everything I paid, uh, that I'm showing you, I paid retail price for. So there was no scalper price. We got Golf Story. A lot of these limited run games that I picked up at the event, there's a lot of value into them. We got Night Trap. Uh, I mean, there was a few um, that we'll be showing in the video that's not really... It, it has its still sticker price in terms of people selling it. We got Sea of Solitude. Uh, this is a game that I'm really looking forward to play soon when I get a chance to play all these games. I'm still doing Nintendo Switch Sports, which the review of that should be the next video coming up after this. I feel really bad that's taking long, but it's going to be a special video, so stay tuned for that. Star Wars Republic Commando. I just pre-ordered the Star Wars Horse Unleashed game for the Switch because 
I have every Star Wars game on the Switch except that one. We got Snipper Clips, which again, I cool thing about this is I actually now have every published Nintendo game that came out in 2017, I believe. Uh, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I have every Nintendo Switch uh, game from Nintendo came out in 2017. So I have the 2017 release complete and the 2018 release complete. So I'm really happy about that. Layers of Fear, which you're already going to be missing this because this stream's going to be ending. It's already ended when this comes out. But I am... at the moment this comes out, I'll already be done streaming, but I'm streaming Layers of Fear. Go check out my Twitch. We're doing streams every Monday night now. So, yeah. Broken Age. Like, this is when I was telling you. I, I spent $35 on this game, and it sold for about $35 to $40. So, I paid about... I mean, some of the limited run games still stay at its sticker price. But a lot of them, they go way too much in value. Like... Some of those limited run games, which a lot that you'll see in this video, like, I was about to play Jack and Daxter on my PlayStation. Then I found out how much the first Jack and Daxter is going for, and I'm like, crap, they, am I like, is it is it bad that I'm opening this? Because, uh, like, Jack and Daxter is being sold for, I think, if I remember correctly, like $200, and I only paid $25 for it, so I'm like, what? Toka Laylee. Really looking forward to playing this one soon because Shovel Knight is in the game and I am a big Shovel Knight fan, so that's going to be pretty exciting. Stranger Things 3, the game, uh, the only way you can play that game now is the physical copy, so unless you already bought it digital. Shantae, Half Genie Hero. Now, I don't know the story behind this one. Um, I noticed it doesn't have any mention of Limited Run here. Um, I don't, I don't know if it's one of those games that uh, they had like this partnership or something. Because I know Limited Run still made this, but yeah, I don't know what's up with that. There, there's no uh, Limited Run logo on here like the other ones. Star Wars Jedi Academy uh, or Jedi Knight Academy, Jedi Star Wars Jedi Academy Jedi Knight, or no Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. Holy crap, how many times did I mess up that title? Um, <laughs> I, I think I was thrown off that there was two Jedis in the title. Thumper. Fun fact. This is one of the Nintendo Switch launch titles digitally. Uh, the title or the, the, the physical copy of the game didn't come out till way later. Um, but this is actually one of Limited Run's first Nintendo Switch releases. And... <laughs> This is about to break the ceiling, which is fine. I'm going to play this one. I think Thumper looks like one of the most beautiful indie games I've ever seen. Freedom Planet. I have to have this just because of how much of a Sonic fan I am. I have to play that game because I know that that game is heavily inspired by Sonic. So, yeah. Shantae and the Seven Sirens. Now, I have every Shantae game except the Pirate's Curse. I don't know why the Pirate's Curse game is so expensive. But that game's like a $600 to $700 game on the Switch. Again, I don't know the story behind it because that was one of Nintendo, uh, Nintendo Limited Run's open pre-order games, I'm pretty sure, where you could pre-order. There was like not a... I mean, obviously, after the open pre-order is over, they don't print them anymore. But you were still able to pre-order as many as you want. So I don't understand how that one is so valuable and why if you guys happen to know in the comments down below why Shantae and the Pirate's Curse is such an expensive Switch game please let me know. I picked up this because I believe this is going to be a tie cast nomination game soon so I need to stay ready stay humble to uh, finally beat one of those tie cast nomination games. Fury a lot of people got jealous that I picked this one up. Uh, that's one that's like a hundred dollars sold listing, but then I paid a retail price for it. All right, I have one more game to wrap us up with our video games pickup: Lego Star Wars: The Skywalker Saga. Really fun game <laughs> that has definitely been a blast from the past in terms of my childhood because I love playing Lego games as a kid. Uh, that one's like a, I guess remake kind of of. Uh, the old Star Wars games in Lego form because there was, you, you, you know the history of that game. 
There's uh, LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga. There's LEGO Star Wars Episode 1 through 6. Uh, those were games that came out 20 years ago, and it's like a remake of all those with the new, uh, newer trilogy that came out with Star Wars. So <laughs> that's been really fun to play. So what do you guys think? That's the end of my video games pickups. Do you guys want to see more of these videos? Let me know in the comments down below. Like the video, check out the channel, backslash that subscribe button, because we've already hit 2,500 subscribers. Oh my gosh, bro, that's crazy. It's crazy to me that we've hit that far. But we're gonna continue to get further. We're gonna get 100,000 subscribers in two years. Two years it's gonna happen. Two, two years we're getting 100,000 subscribers. So, or you know what, it's gonna be sooner than that most likely. So uh, make sure you guys check out my Twitter, my Instagram, my Discord server. We're doing some stuff in the Discord server. Love to see you guys in there. Uh, also, check out the podcast that I'm a part of. Yeah, guys, it's been real. <laughs> uh, also, the Twitch streams. I know I brought it up already, but we are streaming there every single week now. So I would love to see you guys there. It's in the description, but I'm Max TV. Uh, it's gonna be great. We're doing all sorts of games on there. Like we're doing a horror game tonight uh, Well, it's already happened, but I mean like last week we did multiplayer stuff So it'd be nice to see you guys there. I know a lot of you guys come into my YouTube streams uh, But we're, we're on Twitch now, so I will see you guys in the next one. I've been talking for way too much. Have yourselves a good one Peace